Brittany Danielle Alexander and I'm 12 years old. When I was in pain, I couldn't do much. Like, if I, my, my sister went somewhere and I was in pain, I couldn't go. The patients have um, constant pain that usually escalates over time and keeps them from doing the things that they want to do in their daily lives. So it keeps them from um, being able to interact with other people. In adults, it keeps them from work. In children, it keeps them from school. Um, and, and in the worst cases, it keeps them from leaving their home because they're so afraid that they're going to have a pain episode or they have so many pain episodes that they're not able to really function. Well, I was in and out of the hospital with the pancreatitis all the time. So a subset of patients who have chronic pancreatitis have it due to a hereditary condition or a genetic condition of some kind. And so pancreatitis will actually run in the family of those patients. Patients that have chronic pancreatitis and develop severe debilitating pain so that they can't function normally, they can't go out and do the things they wanna do, and they develop a, a, um, either a frequent or a, even a constant narcotic requirement. Uh, those are the patients that uh, typically are good candidates for surgery. Brittany uh, has had disease since she was four years old. Uh, she's been intermittently in the hospital and then uh, more recently in November of last year developed a, 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 an exacerbation of her pain where her symptoms got much worse uh, and she had an episode where her pancreatic duct became blocked and then ruptured and so she required hospitalization on and off since November and then in February she got to where she couldn't go home from the hospital because she wasn't able to eat by mouth and she required IV pain medication. In May of this year she underwent a total pancreatectomy. We infused the cells into that catheter that went directly into the portal vein which then leads to the liver. So the cells moved through the portal vein into the liver and then began to function there in the liver for her. Only a month out since her surgery and they're starting to do the things you want to do and work towards getting you off the pain medicine because your islet cells are working as well as they are. You know, we don't have to, you won't have to be on insulin probably much longer. HbA1c was five, which is perfect, running exactly in the range. Now that I don't have the pancreas and I'm not in and out of the hospital as much, I can do more stuff better than I used to, could.